Afternoon is reaching its quiet end here in Ferndale. The kids that attend the local high school are just arriving back from lunch. But beyond Hagen's and past the Metallica signing on the local bridge lies a school, a school in which the students learn from the teachers and the teachers learn from the students. <laughs> talk about what they do and you get to talk to them and ask questions or you get to go on field trips like not all the time but to get more involved with your school and just more involvement. I thought about running for the student government at Ferndale but I decided against it because pretty much all the preppy kids do it there and so I decided to try it here just because I felt that I had a better chance to uh, to do it. Hey, in case you're wondering about our computers, they're all connected to a server. The students seem to like this because it allows us fast internet, email, and we can all share our files pretty easily with teachers. Ping pong competition outside! Anybody can get caught with they got down. Does it mean Quite a match we just had. This is the lunchroom. In it are a pair of candy and pop machines. But in case you don't have a sweet tooth during lunch, and it's not necessarily your choice to eat candy or pop. Windward has a lunch stand where you can buy your food or drink during lunch and eat your with your friends out here. That is a choice that most students are proud of. But in case you don't want to be in here, you can go outside and get some fresh air during lunch. In 2004, a group of kids 
got a grant to build picnic tables outside, and in 2004, they completed it. If a student wants to get a grant here at Windward High School, we have about $25,000 each year for the next two years that students can apply for. So all you really need is a good idea, get yourself a mentor, which is just somebody in the community that would like to help you get your project started. You have to do a little bit of writing to kind of tell people what you're going to do with the money and how you're going to use it, how it's going to fit in with our community of Windward High School or even the Ferndale community or even the whole entire global community that we have. Hi, my name is Jacob Abbott and welcome to Windward High School. With the low student population, it's easy to make new friends just like that. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Um, my name's DJ. Hey, I'm cool. Sweet. Are we friends? Sure. Or it could be something like this. Hi, I'm new here. Um, I'm a little confused about my, where my next class is. And we can ask those boys over there. Yeah, but it seems like they can never get past that, oh, what's up stage. Hey, David. Hey, what's up? How's it going? That's all. Getting to know students on a personal level has been, it's, it's a great climate here. I feel like even though I'm a staff member, I'm completely equal with the students. I'm, I have complete respect for them. I know them. I feel like it's the same with me. I don't think people see me as a, a sort of intimidating figure or someone off in the distance. And I think that happens because it's a small school. So, yeah, I love it. I like that it's small and you get to know everybody and you always can find a teacher when you need one and that there's a lot of opportunities for different things. It's not like the high school, Ferndale. I think that uh, Windward High School is a real alternative, meaning a choice, not necessarily an alternative school, but that we get a lot of kids that really like technology, we get a lot of kids that are just looking for something different, and I think the number one thing is we get a lot of students that um, really want something that is smaller and more personalized. So that's Windward for you, but here at Windward we want to just remind you that Windward isn't just a school, it's an adventure.